Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> oh, it couldn't be. It couldn't be a podcast. It couldn't be a first podcast without fucking up. Oh, my God. Well, it happens. It happens. We'll just go on. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the first ever LCU podcast. I mean, not really the first one. You know what? Welcome to the first official LCU podcast. I appreciate for everyone standing here and probably the spectators on YouTube. Yes, this is being live streamed for uh, safekeeping. I will safe keep these clips till my heart dies. Today, it's it's a first podcast, of course. I will not hide it. I am very nervous, but hopefully things goes as right. I'll firstly uh, bring up the people here, uh, the main people. People of the LCU, of course, the Luna Creators. So I'm just going to start pulling up uh, here. First one I'm going to pull up is, uh, let's see. Oh, God. Nobody's from the LCU is here. No. What am I thinking? No. That's, uh, first one is GGTOP. Come up. How's it going, GGTOP? <laughs> Uh, fine, I guess. Oh, that's wonderful. Is your mic a bit low? Uh, yeah, but but I can't do anything about it. <laughs> Alright, that's uh, fair enough. I'll just increase the user volume. Mm -hmm. How how you doing? Well, it's fine. But... Oh. Just, you know, tomorrow I had a final exam on school and that's it. Oh, nice. Yeah. Alright. Next, alright. We're gonna pull up the second Luna creator here, which is heck only fans. Rise and shine, Mr. Heck. R Rise and shine, Mr. Heck. Heck. All right, it seems as heck is not uh, wanting to go up, but that's acceptable. That is fine, that is fine, we'll move on. <laughs> yes, heck is dead, oh god. Ah, uh, there's so many things. Uh, never mind, he's alive. <laughs> he's risen from the dead. Hello, oh, heck. So noisy, hold on. How's it going? It's good, man. It's good. Alright, yeah. It's fine. Morning. Yeah. I would be lying to say if I was uh, fine. I am completely opposite of fine. Anyways, without any delays, let us begin the podcast. Actually, no. We gotta bring out, of course, some guests. Because, of course, a podcast wouldn't be complete without some extra people in it. But just, you know, add a little bit more spice for the whole thing. Our first special guest, of course, in alphabetical order, Captain Dookie, please rise up. Captain Dookie. Oh. oh. There you go. Hey, yeah. How's it going? Uh, it's fine. Nice. Right, good thing that, uh, good that it's going fine for you. Not going fine for me, but that's not the, that's not the, that's not what matters. So. Ooh. Oh, yeah. How could I have almost forgotten? The next member is. <laughs> and I cannot believe I'm actually stressing this up. Model texture bones, also known as MTB, rise up! You're giving the you've been giving the opportunity to be with us. So, before anyone starts getting to, oh, hello, hello, hello. Oh. It's a pleasure <laughs> to meet you. 
Good to meet you too. Alright. I was expecting one more guy, but he's not really here. Uh, that is not uh, too much to worry about. I'm pretty sure we are now ready to start. Uh, hmm. I almost forgot. Elephant tea. My apologies. You can rise up. I forgot about you for one second. How's it going, Elephant Tea? Like We're getting my ass handed in risk of rain right now, but pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, tell me more about it. I mean, uh, yeah, don't tell me any more about it. Don't tell me any more okay. about it. I reckon I'm say they, this game depends on luck for the most of the part. <laughs> yeah, I that's see. It. Yep. Okay. So, without further ado, pretty sure we have everyone here. Saya, if you wanna, if you wanna rise up yourself, you can rise up yourself. This podcast, we'll we'll talk about some, uh, we'll talk about a subject which has recently uh, started being somewhat relevant on the Toho community. That subject is animation. As most of you know, there have been uh, a lot of animation channels. And the Toho community, you know, growing out of nowhere and just producing some of the finest content people can see. So I figured a podcast to talk about it would be a good thing. Uh, And I also decided to get some people in the department of animation. So, you know, we could get some uh, professional opinion, as I could put it. So we should talk about uh animations we could bring some other topics if the need arises but yes firstly let's get some opinions around dookie what do you think about animation for the total community uh what do I, um well i mean we've there's been sort of a slowdown in some ways but like i think the last uh half of the year like a lot of good animations have been coming out with like uh c merc i think is his name mtv obviously he's fantastic from what i've seen uh is it re- in regards to like the anime animation because i'm i i only pay attention oh to, like, hell no MD. hell no no that 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 animation is uh no we don't okay, talk so we're, ta- we're talking. We're talking about MMD and SFM and stuff. And like that. we're talking about MMD, SFM, any type of animation that involves transforming an image in a motion esque way. Uh, okay. Well, um, goodness, uh, well, you always have to pick me first. <laughs> I'm like not. Pre- I'm prepared to listen. I'm not really prepared order. to speak. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, alphabetical order. Uh, all right. Well, I think really a lot of stuff has been absolutely great. I think it's been over so far as far as any kind of like part of the community, the animation shines like the most because there's no, you know, staunchy opinions or anything. And I, I, most of the animators I've seen, you know, kind of really just uh, keep themselves in a good way, uh, and they, you know. They don't get involved in anything uh, in particularly negative. And it, it's just, it raises everybody's positive, uh, you know, understanding of the whole, you know, fandom and stuff like that. And what I've seen so far is absolutely amazing. Well, I um, cannot disagree with you. Oh, keep going. So, yeah, I, I guess that's kind of a thesis. I mean, it, it, so far it's been really good, although it has slowed down quite some, and that, that's probably just because everybody's at school, you know. Oh, I mean, that I'm not is really true. At school, but I'm working a lot, and I don't really have time to do my own animations as far as anything. I still got one I need to do for Blank Guy, and probably peeved at that. Uh, yeah, I can definitely see. Uh, I can definitely see your point here. It has been slowed down due to practically the entire world going to work or to school. It's quite unfortunate, mm-hmm. but I guess it's just how the world works. Just another, just another cycle. That's a that's a good point you bring. Very nice. All right, MTB. Any opinions on animation?
All right. I guess not. <laughs> is this mic working? <laughs> <laughs> Good point, MTB. Are, are, is mic working? You can use the... Do we have a text channel? Ah, uh, that uh, we don't have te we don't have a text channel. I uh, could try. I could try uh, to. I could. Oh. I guess you just talk, talk it on general. I guess. You could use the YouTube chat if you want to. Or oh, that is the worst option. I mean, yeah, that is that is definitely something I can pull off. But I can definitely uh pull a quick uh screen share here if anything. But. If he doesn't have a, uh, if he doesn't have something to say, then I guess we uh, we move on. You, you, you just take your time to think about it, MTB. Take your time. Uh, Elephant T, you've recently uh, gone to a Blender animation, especially doing some with uh, with some of your videos. What do you have to say about animation? Uh, disclaimer: uh, I'm not a totally professional in this department and you know when it comes to uh, professional rigging and adding effects and stuff like that i'm still at baby step stage well uh, i did try uh, rigging with you know the recent video videos but i'm mostly good at you know uh, duplicating a lot of stuff and using um, something like procedure node and stuff like that well, all I can say about it is that, you know, there are lots of free tools out there, and that's great. And, you know, there's MND and SFM, but one really important thing is that Blend is very flexible, I would say. Um, although it's like disarming a minefield, you have to just start from the scratch if you want to really use it. But uh, it's insane that you know if you tandem blender and mnd there's a whole lot of possibility like rendering millions of you know boomers at once and stuff like that uh, but yeah uh, all i want to say is that there are lots of free tools out there for sure but it's just a, just a shame that i don't really have a lot of time to just investigate into this stuff and study this stuff with the nine nine to five well yeah, unlike uh, yeah, uh, unlike the most of you, I've actually graduated from the college, and you know, it really sucks when whenever the overtime cocks, cocks my ass and just grab my whole weekend plan and yeah, with that. So yeah, there are lots of free tools out there, but it's a shame that I don't really have a lot of time to focus on it. Well, I can definitely see why. I can definitely see why you def you said uh. It was definitely kicking your ass. By the way, guys, don't be shy. If you have anything to say for yourselves at any time, please go for it. Not only not only does it create actual conversations, but it extends time for podcasts. Anyway, <laughs> heck, only fans. Anything you want, you you work, you are by far, and I may get some backlash for this. You are by far one of the best animators I've seen. Not because of the content you make, but by the way you make content. <laughs> For those that don't know, Heck Only Fans animates his videos using Microsoft's PowerPoint. Fully fleshed animations on Microsoft's PowerPoint, and that's just that's just mind blowing for me. If you have not seen him, please go see his videos. I don't know how he pulls it off. Uh, it's just it's just it, I don't know. Heck Only Fans, what do you think about? Can you tell us a bit more about what do you think about animation, especially in your department? Oh, I don't know about any departments. <laughs> I okay. think uh, the only thing I can think of of animations, I think it's more of a like, uh, like, uh, like a hit or hit or miss kind of thing. You know, like there's this very very good animation and there's a bad one. But sometimes people like the bad ones more like the more than the good ones. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like there is this like this animation. You know, like uh, for example, like minus. The unit, you know, minus the animation is so good. Yeah, right? I know minus. Oh. Then there's this yeah. one, one animator. Like, I think I've subscribed to or three animators who's. I'll just be honest, alright, it's, it's actually good than mine. It's very, very good. You just have a very low subscriber. I think I don't know. Just I like got hit or miss, alright. It's sometimes good, sometimes bad. People like anything. I don't know. I'm just gonna make stuff. That, that's all. Honestly, minus T. I'm pretty sure he is the only one that should be considered a professional animator. His stuff is really well made. 
I some people do get. Yeah, he he is the definition of professional. He's legitimately. I was really surprised when I heard that he's actually Korean because, you know, nationality doesn't really matter with the animators, but usually we usually associate that kind of professional, high quality stuff with, uh, you know, uh, Japan Japanese fans who who's been around it around with the whole series for several years and have been professionally trained. We are Japanese goblin. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's you know funny of you bringing this up right in front of the animator. <laughs> That's very funny. Oh, oh god! I got a oh, I got a story to share, but I'm not gonna do it now. Let's see, GTTOP. Well, you have any opinions on animation? Your opinion will not be invalidated. Well. Honestly, I enjoy, you know, anything, just not, just done to be kids, you know. All right. Yeah. Thank you. That was valuable. So, maybe we should, uh, let's see. Now we have everyone's opinions. I'm kind of lost. What, um, how do we extend this podcast? Fuck, help. Yeah. Honestly, um, I had no idea what to I had no opinion on animation, so. <laughs> right. How about we talk some? How about we talk about uh some of our? Uh, I know. How about we talk how we got into it? Pretty sure people will be interested to uh see the history on how we got into. Starting with you, Captain Dookie. Again, alphabetical order. Tell us how you got into uh the animations in Gary's mod. Um. Well, for a long time i really love like the old school like animations like you know kiddio 706 and daspo shit stuff um i think those were like the real the two top 10 top contenders as far as like uh how animation was back then and i mean it's timeless in a sense but i mean it did exist for like between i'd say you know the early parts of the internet where they're before the adpocalypse and all you know that was like YouTube's glory days as far as anything. So, you know, I... uh, it definitely draws a lot of positive light. Um, now, I kind of chose a different, you know, style. I didn't want to do... Uh, the reason why my animations look the way they do is, like, I didn't just want to do, like, Team Fortress 2 stuff and uh, have all that stuff. Because, you know, I just feel like that's oversaturated. All right. I cannot disagree with you any further. Kitty, Kitty and uh, Kitty and Despo should really were the golden age of Gmod animations. I was there, I think. In fact, like, I probably solemnly believe that, like, Kitty 07 and 706's death was, like, the end times. Like, literally everything got worse after he died essentially because like right after he died it's just youtube had this horrible streak of you know the adpocalypse and stuff like that and it just ruined everything for everybody so i mean it really kind of paints his death in a more hard light i'd say so that's it means a lot yeah it definitely means a lot well that's nice very nice MTB, how did how did you get into animating with uh with uh, MMD? Tell us more about it. MTB, is your mic working? No, he's bandwidth. He, he was saying he was saying about oh. bandwidth. I guess I'm afraid not. All right. <laughs> elephant, <laughs> elephant tea. <laughs> Tell us about your Blender adventure. How did you start with it? Any difficulties? Well, first of all, it will be overstatement if I say that I I made the full play stuff. I still have a long way to go. Um, the you know. I had a plan to uh, get in get into M N M M N D animate animations animations in a quotation mark for some time because 
I'll be honest, uh, you know, I mean, I mean the viewers of YouTube algorithm for the most of the time and just typing MND on the description actually reacts in a lot, lot of views. So I wanted to get into it uh, one way or another. But one thing that, you know, really frustrating me with the vanilla MMD application would, would be that, you know, first of all, lots of the tutorials are in Japanese. And secondly, uh, you know, the vanilla program doesn't really do, do much unless, unless you... Uh, in so a lot, lot of add-ons and stuff like that. But that is my first impression. Not sure about the others, but so um, that's the moment when I decided to uh, you know try to tandem with the Blender. Uh, at first, I didn't import the PMX models into Blender directly. I didn't know that I could do that. So uh, there's a, a video where where I used Lily White, uh, you know, sp you know, firing bullets from from my back and. I merged the, I made the animations for the bullets separately on the blender and merged with the green screen, uh, with the MND boot boot edges. But uh, but yeah, I uh, later on I've learned learned that you can actually import the PMX model into Blender, and I you know I could have just skipped the whole <laughs> merging with the green screen step altogether. Uh, so uh, I think that started. I think that's how we started, just because. Uh, you know, I do know that people like MND animations, and I need to get into it one way or not, one way or another. And um, Blender uh, had me to add a, a bit of spice to it, I would say. Well, Blender. I cannot say I'm a stranger to Blender, definitely trying to use it, but it's well convoluted, and it only works for those who know. Anyways, thank you for uh, telling us, sharing us your experiences. Oh, heck, only fans. You work with Microsoft Paint, as stated before, which is incredible. Please tell us how you get to that point. I, we are really rooting to know. Uh, yeah, I think I think it's uh, way back to when I was in high school. You know, that time when people just, you know, classmates just want to group with you just because you animate PowerPoint that good. I was the cute. <laughs> they just want me into the group like, yeah, this guy is, is, is a very good animator PowerPoint. I don't, I don't care what's content inside the slide, just animate the shit out of it. It's like that. <laughs> I was just, you know, from that just learn stuff, you know, mess with the options and all that. I don't know what that is. Pretty much like that. Okay, so, well, how'd I, you get? I used to be the same way. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. they're the one guy in the classroom that can do the cool thing, and then you're everyone like likes you. Like, how did you get into PowerPoint to begin with? Like, how? What is your origin story? Because I'm pretty sure you didn't just start. You didn't start from uh, from spontaneous decision, right? I think it's in middle school. I, uh, there's this uh, computer lesson they, the, the teacher introduces to PowerPoint. I think we'll start from there. God damn. Yeah. This is a, this is, I, I'm speechless. This is too good. This is honestly too good. Well, GTTOP, you're not really an animator, but then again, your opinion will not be ignored. What are your, uh, <laughs> you have any, uh, I mean, I'm sorry to be doing this to you, but, you know, um, do you have, do you see, do, do you know any good animators? <laughs> do you perhaps um, know any good? To be good... honest, no, I'm not good at it. <laughs> no, I'm asking if you know any good animators, you know. Not really. I'm just, you know, watching random content. I see. It's not like we're surrounded by animators right now. <laughs> it's yeah. like you have one of the. It's like this chat is consistent. You have like, you have MTB, which is like <laughs> one of the best animators we've gotten so far. We uh, not not even one of the best. One of like one of the top animators, I'd say, currently. Yeah. We have, 
yeah, we have a very we have a we have an extremely good MMD animator. We have a we have a very good Gary's mod animator. We have a uh, starter blender animator, and we have a fucking mastermind of PowerPoint over here. And Japanese goblin. No man, I wouldn't say I'm that good at Gmod. I'm only scratching the surface with 800 subscribers right now. So. Yeah, scratching the surface. You are. Well, this is the part where we've reached somewhere around half of the duration of podcast. I guess we just start talking anything that comes from mind about our animations. Just so to give you some positivity, Duki, uh, you know, Miresoman used to have less subscribers than me back then, uh, and you know, he exponentially had had exponential growth at at one point and. I believe that your con- content may deserve uh, that kind of hike. Uh, I think uh, just I think we just will be more patient. I think you could get there. I'd say that is true. We could talk about Mira Isomang, if that is how you pronounce it. Elephanti, could you correct me? Uh, it's pronounced Mira Isomang, but. Everyone will butcher his pronunciation anyway. There's an E in the oh, name. Yeah. I will not I will not forget the E. <laughs> yeah, his name uh, his nickname at least is Mire Somang. Uh, it roughly translates to how does the Mire means future and uh Somang is dearest hope in a sense. So it's uh, future and a dearest hope. So it's pretty wholesome nickname, I'll say. Ah, the animations are in the same caliber. They're wholesome as well. Like, the, his his animations are just very good. He's been growing so fast, like very very quickly. Has anyone seen one of his videos? I'm pretty sure most of us have seen it. It's over the top for sure. <laughs> Yes, I'm pretty sure his growth was too great to be ignored. What are you guys' opinions on Mirai Somang? And what's your favorite what's your favorite video that he's made so far? I don't know him too well. Unreal. No, I, I don't I somewhat pay attention to Exactly. That's why I'm animators. saying this is unreal. You should watch some of his videos right now. You'll not be disappointed. I MTB, have you have you watched Mira Samang's videos? Alright. Elephant T, you surely watch you a hundred percent you surely watch uh, Mira Samang videos. You you know his name in Korean, of course you watch his videos. You know already uh, yeah. told a lot yeah, about my him. <laughs> my favorite one would be, you know, that video. Oh wait, Tamar is going to speak. By the way. Uh, anyway. Uh, back to back to our laptop. Yeah, my favorite one would be the one where Raisin just tried to escape from Junko and, and you know, with a whole rig of AA gun to just to mow her down and end the failing <laughs> at the end. <laughs> <laughs> ah <laughs> yes, impressive. that video. That video. That that video is funny. That video is the definitely funny. Part funny. Was at the end, where you know Kagura just casually speaks with Junko on the table. Uh, by the way, Tamaris, would you like to speak? Uh, if you if you would, uh, just type in the chat. I saw 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 him just raise your hand just now. All right, we're gonna we're gonna cut this uh, line very shortly. Another lunar creator has just materialized to us. His name is Experiment One Two One. He's not an animator, but his but, uh, opinion will not go invalidated. How's it going, Experiment 1 to 1? Uh, good, thanks. It's good. Very nice. Uh, could you tell, could you uh, mind telling the, the stream what you do? I make music mainly arranges of Toho music because, I mean, there's no other reason I'd be here, I guess. But... In terms of if I made other music, but yeah, I just make Toho music and Mainly piano now, but I did used to do some other stuff, like metal. All right, here we go. We got a we got a Dojin circle in creation here. That's very nice. 
What do you think about animations experiment? You've watched some? Yeah, I've seen some. I think they're pretty cool. Alright. Do you have any favorite animators? Uh, not really. Don't really watch too many, but... Yeah, I do watch some, but yeah, I don't really have any favorite ones. Alright. That is nice to know. Do you like by the way? Yeah, Mira Samung. Are you searching Man, right now? If you want to talk about favorite animators, um, can we go into like non Toho related uh, favorite animators? Oh, sure, go for it. Yeah. Um, in a in a sense, uh, one of the, one of my favorite animators, I'd say, is uh, this guy named Flippin' Ding Dong. I don't know if you guys have heard of him. I think he started off as I Am the Gang or something like that, but he he uses I think Anime Studio as his animation software, which I've heard is extraordinarily difficult to use uh, as far as its formatting. But he does these like really immaculate animations where he like combines old 1940s Disney cartoons with like anime in a sense. Uh, and I, I must say a lot of his stuff has kind of influenced like what I do in a sense, but like, yeah, check him out. He, he does these really, I think one of the things he did was like uh, the scene from Star Fox with the uh, UFO and Peppy sacrifices himself. Like the, last scene in Independence Day, essentially. Uh, that was always good. Uh, and he does a lot of his own voice work. Uh, he's pretty good with that, although it definitely could be better. But he had a lot of projects I was really interested in, like almost kind of bringing back uh, Private Snafu, which was an old uh, World War II propaganda cartoon from the 1940s for the United States Infantry. Um, and I just thought that was really interesting. Uh, but yeah, no, he's he's Excellent animator. I recommend checking out his stuff. Wow, that's very nice. That is indeed very nice. Speaking of animators from outside the Toe community, since we're in that territory, uh, yeah, that great cartoon pony is also a good one. Has anyone seen it? It's good. Oh yeah, I forgot we're in the Toho community. No one has seen them. <laughs> yeah, sorry. It just clicked. It just clicked to me. Well, I guess I'll talk about him. He's uh he mixes his main area right now is uh 2D animation, but he works on uh Gary's mod animation. So he manages to uh seamlessly combine 2D animation and 3D animation in a way that actually works. So like you're just seeing a Gary's mod video and an event and then it just turns into animation. And it's just it's just a combination of the best of both worlds, I guess you would say. Really good, really good. His favorite video of mine, if I'm not mistaken, is Ideas, which is somewhat my situation right now. All right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, heck, heck, only fans. Uh, what was the question we I was asking before? Favorite animators. Yes. Heck, aside from yourself, um, do you have any favorite animators you'd like to point out? Oh, I think I like everyone. I, I, I'm not sure if I like have any idol or animation like that. I don't, I don't know. I just, I just kind of like everything. Like, oh, it's good. I like it. Oh, this one's good too. I like it. I just, I like generally. To be specific, I don't know. Just oh, I okay. see. Do you have some examples to share with us then? Oh, okay. I think I think it's this. Uh, I think I I like this one. Like uh, I don't have one, but just I I I think I've seen it. Uh, this MM Day, right? MM Day animation. Like this. Uh, I don't know what it's called, but it is. It's about like. This Raisen, like Raisen read book and then Marisa just stole the book. There's this amazing animation and all that. And then in the end, I think it's about Reimu and Oko, I guess. I, I guess there's, 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 I, I, I think I can show you, but I don't have the video now. I think I've seen it. Hold on, what is that? 
I just, just like this I mean, day. I just I don't, <laughs> I don't remember the name. I just remember everything inside it. No, but, I was more referring to uh, uh, any any uh, animators in that uh, you might you might uh, you might like. So like uh, any animators that you know you like the content from. Give some examples. Uh, uh, okay, I think as far from I can tell, I think more more like curious maybe. <laughs> Alright. Uh, it's not like it's not like I'm trying to bring more people here. But okay. Uh DTTOP, any favorite animators for you? Well model texture bone. Yeah, that's all I can think of. Alright. Yeah. Very nice. We have reached uh, past the half hour of the podcast. Uh, we are going to be accepting some questions. If you guys have any questions. I mean, we have a lot of animators here. They could answer some questions, hopefully. Definitely. Mm. Just go ahead and uh, quite literally ping me in general. Like, quite literally ping me. I don't care. Ping me in general. Ask the question. Just, yeah. That's how, it's gonna, that's how it's gonna work. I don't have a channel. Uh, yeah, that's just that's just how it's working. Quite yeah. literally, how it's working. That's uh, pretty, um, actually, I I I, I wouldn't want to switch this conversation to like a negative one, but um, should we address kind of like what has been or some of the drama that's been going on in the community? Mm. I don't know. Um, I think uh, I think. Well, I'm talking, of course, about, like, relations to, uh, what's his name? Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure, uh, yeah. I, I mean, we could definitely do a stream, uh, stream with, uh, with, with, I know the people that have, uh, partaken, uh, or have been, uh, uh, you know, they, they were, how do, how do you put the word, I'm sorry, I'm bad with words, give me a moment to think. But. I know some people that have been part of a uh, drama, so I could probably pull them up in a different podcast uh, to talk about this. It's not my, I suppose so. Yeah, it's not. It's, it's not my. Uh, not my cup of tea to uh, talk uh, too bad or bad at all of someone, even if they've done no, something bad. Well, I mean, it's not necessarily like pointing fingers, because I, I didn't really know. Um, this person too well, and I didn't really understand exactly what happened. So, uh, but it reminds me too well of something similar that happened to me. But you know, we're, we're kind of just kind of hopefully leave that in the dark. Uh, but I mean, if it's anything, definitely like you know, we're gonna learn at least how not to do things, and you know, I think it's our, in our strengths. Uh, and there are a lot of people here, such as MTB, who have been nothing but role models as how they handle uh, popularity or anything of that nature or fame. And I, I think it's greatly appreciative that how, you know, some of these other people have handled this, whereas other people have completely like power is completely rushed to their head and they do something extraordinarily stupid. And uh, yeah. Yep. I, I, I've sir. Those said that don't learn from history are doomed to fail again. That's yeah. something I take to heart. It's important that we observe what happened in the past so we cannot repeat it in the future. I'm uh, I'm a bit not happy about like uh, something or that slander video I came I came out with earlier. It's like Team Nakajima having no idea what the fuck they're gonna get to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, that aged well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was that was this lander video. Yeah, this lander video is made to be funny. It's also made fun yeah, to poke it, things. I I, uh, I got permission to do that from a lot of the people that was uh, that are in that video. So <laughs> it's good. It's very good. You got permission to slander. Very nice. Yeah, I, I think it voted well with them because I mean, they're, they're, it's all jokes that they've probably heard a million times before. Uh, 
Of yeah. course, uh, some people are like, "Oh, you, Opara's doing stuff," and I didn't really do anything to Opara because I don't really know what Opara is doing. We have. Uh, <clears throat> I'm currently uh, cutting this section right here to uh, pull up someone here from the audience that I know is a friend of mine. Not Ariel, but he's a friend of mine. His name is Kiliope. Uh, I'm pretty sure you should be able to be very uh, nice friends with him, uh, Dookie. He's also from Massachusetts. Oh. He also happens to be in uh, a very amateur MMD animator. Kiliope, oh. you're on the stage. Hello. Hey, uh, can you hear me? Yep. I can hear you. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah, so... Uh, How's it going? I've been good. What about you, Asperger? Oh, before the stream could even start, I was already sweating bullets. Don't worry about me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Is that because of MTV's presence? No, it was just everyone's presence. <laughs> oh. Everyone's presence. It's always <laughs> the... MTV is a man. He is not a god. Yet he is an extraordinarily well-rounded <laughs> role model, I'd say, in He's every the well -rounded. that he, is, uh, he has been asked to be a part of. He is the well-rounded man. Uh, anyway. Well, since MTB is here, I'd like to admit that uh, my animations, I, I, <clears throat> I get a lot of my inspiration from MTB. Uh, I made a lot of gun pictures back then using MMD because of, MMD, uh, because of MTB. Uh, I actually paused on doing that, and I'm kind of making cinematic, more static animations than uh, stuff like MTB. Oh, that's very nice to hear. They say uh, imitation is the highest form of flattery. Very nice, mm -hmm. very wholesome. Um, anyways, Kiliop, tell us about yourself, because you are an animator by definition. Tell us more about yourself. Uh, I'm just a guy in Massachusetts uh, doing random things. I have to do things to get myself entertained, and uh, making cinematic animations is one of them. I don't know, playing video games, playing VR, taking pictures. I love doing that, by the way. Recording. Uh, I find that stuff very interesting. Uh, I'm also heavily invested in scient uh, sci <clears throat> science, um, stuff like that. I do talk about poli uh, politics a lot, but obviously I won't mention any of that there here because this is not the place to do that. So, uh, yeah. Yep. It all be, it's all fun and games until Toho releases. It's just a game about politics, and then all Toho players become the best politicians in the world. Anyway, I mean, <laughs> it, I mean, the the game does. I mean, the history is uh the history of some of the Toho characters is definitely uh. You know, it can be considered political, some history, not all, um, but yeah. Fair point. Anyways, we're going to run the questions for you again. How has your experience with MMD been going? To be honest, I haven't really gotten the chance to make anything significant yet. Uh, it's been, uh, I think, a week since I've animated. I've been posting less severe videos. Uh, mainly because school stuff. No, nah, don't tests. worry about it. Don't worry about it. Small stuff is how everyone starts off anyways. You don't just start off with a uh, a minute-long video. Yeah, my uh, I'm very limited in what I can do on MMD. I'm using, I don't know, a Windows 7 to animate. So, like, I'm adding Raycast on these animations sometimes. And it just, my computer just shits itself completely when I try. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, and MTB uses a laptop too, but I think his laptop is better than mine. He has <laughs> superior laptop. He has three <laughs> higher numbers than your laptop has, most likely. My man animating on Windows 7. It, it's, it, animating is a pain in the ass. I mean, I... when I look at some of the models that MTB uses, I look at the smaller models, like, the default camera for MMD, it's it's so far out. So if you add like a character like Cerno, for example, the newest Cerno that MTB was using, uh, the That's bones are just so hard to get to. So you have to zoom in, zoom out, do all this work, at least from my experience of testing out models and stuff like that. And I've gathered quite a 
a lot of models, probably like five gigabytes of them, just to see how they would perform. <laughs> well, that's definitely that's definitely something. And if you I'm have a any uh, model hunter, <laughs> model hunter. Do you have any any fa any favorite animators? Or uh, you MTV. know MTV. MTV is my favorite. I haven't actually watched any of his videos in a while, to be honest. Because cool, but, right? Uh, I, uh, I've been focused on other things. I, I'm getting onto, I don't know, looking out games now. Uh, but I'll definitely start watching MTV again. Very nice. Very nice. All right, for those thinking that I forgot about the question segment i did not forget the questions it's just that there's only been two questions and not more so we'll get to that we got a question here from my friend seth about lunar e lunar eclipse and his channel yeah lunar eclipse we could talk about lunar eclipse what do you guys think about lunar eclipse he's been a prominent uh, animator lunar eclipse yeah um, lunar eclipse hmm. Never heard of this guy. Uh, he's oh, not... oh, hold, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know this guy. Uh, Luna Eclipse. This guy is just, he's a Korean dude, right? Making uh, Toho like actual hand drawn animations. Is that him? I don't think so. Who's the uh, guy? Um, Esper, no, wait, who's the guy who made Fumo Card? I forget his name. He, he did the 2D animation. I'm, I'm I saw it. I saw, I saw that video too, but I don't know which name. I yeah. love that video. <laughs> the... Yeah, yeah, let me too. <laughs> the... Oh, I can't turn on my camera here. Oh no, 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 how, no, like... no, no, need I you. Love how... No need you. No need you. <laughs> I, I love no, how when I just he has to show um... off. <laughs> yeah, there's no need to put yourself in that position yet. No need to put Why? Yourself Why in not that. now? Anyway, our next question comes from one of these specialists. Opinions on Evangelion, Shin Godzilla, and will you watch the Shin Ultraman, Shin Kamen Rider, when you get the chance to answer all of your questions at once? Uh, no. I have not watched any one of them. I don't think I'll be watching them in the near future. Uh, I think I found it. You think it would? Hold on, it's a Fumo card. Yeah, I found it. Me right. neither, but I definitely want to check out Ev Evangelion. Is this how to pr pronounce Ev Evangelion? Evangelion? Evangelion. Um, Evangelion. Evangelion. Oh, I, I, I definitely want to check, check, check it out. Uh, I bet it's a classic. Uh, didn't get yes. a lot of chance to watch animations nowadays. Just like Cowboy Bebop. That's also a classic. Ooh, Steve Bloom. Yes. Very, very nice. I mean, you guys are also free to uh, take the questions for yourselves. I mean, yeah, if you see a question that you'd like to answer, just go for it. It's actually called for the podcast. Anyway, thoughts on comic artists? Come on, everybody. Thoughts on comic artists? I'll go first. Uh, yeah, they, they do. Are you talking like just normal comic books or uh, just comics in general? Like, uh, uh, dojinshis and things like that. Because I've only been dipping my feet into that region very recently, but there's definitely some talented people out there. How about you guys? I don't know about comics. I don't, I don't really watch any comics. I don't really read too many of them. To be I, don't re I don't Doesn't read. The, my head should... empty. I can't read. If you want to get into manga, I think an artist I suggest is uh, Zonos. Uh, I thought I thought it was a girl at once, uh, once before, but apparently it's actually a man behind these amazing stories. Uh, it, it's a lot of what ifs in Toho, uh, like hey, what if a flood happens in Toho because of horrible weather in Japan, right? But that 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 one's a great manga. I forgot the name of it. But you if you do want to, a lot of cannibalism, a lot of stuff. gore, huh? You said the guy who deals with a lot of well, 
I'm not sure cannibalism is the right word because it usually <laughs> involves yokai or goddess eat, eating other humans, but a lot of human eating stuff, right? Uh, yes. Mm. Yeah. But it makes so, sense. <laughs> yeah, my favorite one was the one between Sanae, <laughs> where, you know, uh, what was it? The uh, Moria goddess in, get involved with um, Tango's ritual of eating humans, <laughs> and they invite Sanae to do it. It was pretty <laughs> gruesome. <laughs> Uh, I don't remember that one, uh, and this is somehow another thing that I haven't read in a while. Like, I haven't read any manga, like, in a very long time. Sure, I'll bring up some pictures of manga every once in a while, but, like, in general, I, I stopped reading for a bit. All right, just just making sure to peep the these people here are alive. Heck, only fans in GTTOP. Any uh, manga artists or comics or things like that? You want to say something? Maybe there's a very nice uh, comic you guys could share. Maybe. Koji Kumiji's heart throbbing adventure. <laughs> that's not a that's that's not a comic. That's, I don't know what the. F that that's not a comic, though. That's a that's a uh, that's a disgrace to humankind. Oh, well, dude, well, not exactly. <laughs> Come on, let's argue this, all right? That that's literally like the most KKHTA <laughs> is literally the most advanced shit post ever in the Toho community. There's no, there's no way about it. It's not a disgrace. It's a fucking shit post, and you know it is. Oh my god, I don't fraud. know it <laughs> is. I have never read it. Neither yeah, me neither, bro. And I'm not gonna read it because you know what happened when I read a, a book about killing my favorite characters. I fucking left the community, right? So I uh, <clears throat> in GUP, the Girls in Panzer community, uh, everyone everyone talks about um, this one manga named Yuki Yukite. It's literally a it's literally just Girls in Panzer, but everyone fucking dies. So I read it and I fucking left the community one month later. I was gone. Oh, I mean, like, that, I literally a... disappeared, dude. Quite literally, like, I, war. I, I have no connections to anyone there. People Killing die in wars. Characters can be a touchy subject. <laughs> yeah, like people. Yes, people pe die in wars. People, people die in wars. Yeah, it's that. Yes. Uh, it's, it's actually an anime <laughs> quote. People die when they're killed. Well, yeah, they, I. You know, I actually thought Yuki Yukite was that cool because at least it showed people dying. Because in Girls in Panzer, they shoot these big ass shells at each other, and you're telling me these people aren't dying from the concussion that those shells produce? <laughs> I mean, what come the on. heck? Smithereen means anyway. Sure, they every... get a little dust on them, but it, but they're fine. They I get mean, knocked depends. out every once in a while. Man, no, every no, it... no <laughs> it, they always survive in the anime. I now, tell like, you, uh, like you know, uh, tank physics, the shot could uh, ricochet off the armor. And then just do practically no damage. Let's not talk about why a uh, Porsche Tiger in the mo in the anime has a VTOL selector. Sure, let's not talk about that. So it just just noted here, Saya, one of our administrators, just hopped up. Hello, Saya. Why, hello there. <laughs> oh, hello, it's sir. The, it's at the mud. It's right now in the right now in the dawn of time. Right now in the dawn in the west. Oh, He's got the base booster on. He oh. has the base booster. All right, Saya, how's it going? You have any? Uh, you have any opinions on animators? This is uh, oh, animators. Oh, yeah, animators. Say, uh, they're uh, they're pretty decent. They okay. Any favorites? Oh, gee. I mean, sure. Let's let's oh, abandon. Gee. Let's forget the term favorite. Any animators you like? Well, uh, so much to think, but I do remember, uh, I do remember some of some animations like Daniel Renards and oh dear God, but you got this. Anyone have, have ever watched any animation from Daniel Renard? Oh my God. It's pretty good. Pretty good. And then there were like other oh, ones, which were like uh, I do remember there was that one stu 
there was that one channel that actually made a uh, like a animated manga of like the first like the first few chapters of Berserk and all that. Oh, that was good. The animation of it was just great. It's fantastic. All right. It's good to see we've gotten some nice experiences here for me. Thank you for your input, Zaya. It, be, it is deeply appreciated. Next question, which is actually coming from the, the live stream itself. Thank you. Like, actually, thank you for being there. You know, not statistics-wise, but actually just thank you for being there. Uh, it's a very nice question from Diono77. Which video you made you are the most proud of? Ooh, that's, what's your favorite video? That's an interesting question. I've made several videos. I've made several productions. I don't think I can name out the best one right now. Let's go. Let's take. Let's take it to the top, Captain Dookie, What's your What's the video you're most proud of? Video. I'm well. I mean, obviously, Fumo Flakes, but. Mm -hmm. Oh great! My dad just decided to crank the guitar as loud as he possibly can. And interrupt the goddamn stream. Nah, no. It, it, I mean, if he plays some Toho tunes right now, then he's forgiven. He's not playing any Toho tunes. He's just wailing. Ah. Turn the crystal. Tell him to play on. through the fire and flames then. No. All right, MTB. So, uh, what is your? Uh, oh, oh, sorry. Go for it, Kilio. Uh, I wanted to mention real quick. I thought the creator you were talking about before was Mare So Somang. Currently, a Mire, artist. Mire, yeah. Ignore the E. The E doesn't exist Mire, in the. Uh, okay. <laughs> the, the Korean <laughs> E does not exist. I've checked it. It doesn't exist. I really checked it. it, it we don't have an E. It's just me that's We need to get that person here. <laughs> oh, that is a great point. We need to get him in here. Uh, yes. Um, to MTB, what's person? your uh, what's the video you're most proud of? I'm pretty sure you, ha you have plenty of them. What's the one you uh, like the most? This is becoming comical by this point. I guess it's a Japanese coffin. What? I guess it's a Japanese coffin, you know. <laughs> 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 this is the first time we mentioned Japanese coffin. You know what? You know yeah. what? Yeah, it's time for the story. All right, it's time for the story. So this occurred. Um, on the first half of this year, uh, I was in a. Uh, it was a uh, before the bad times came. Um, I was watching YouTube, you know. I was watching some lessons in meme culture, you know. And then I, uh, you know, lessons in meme culture is a, is an internet classic. It's becoming an internet classic, just like some of YouTube. Anyways, at that day, it just clicked on me instantly. All right, you know what? You know what? You know what? He likes to review memes, right? What if he reviewed We Are Japanese Goblin? And then... And then I'm like thinking, well, he always says in his videos, do you have any memes you would like me to uh, rate next? Uh, leave a message in the comments below. And then... And then it just occurred to me. I know what I must do. So, in some of his videos, I think uh, three of them, I have consecutively, I have consecutively uh, commented in them. Hey, could you do a video on We Are Japanese Goblin, like the animation? Like, uh, yeah, I, I did that for uh, three different videos on uh, three consecutive days. Can you believe it? The, a week later, he pulls off the video. <laughs> He literally, he, 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 did, he does it. He does the weird, <laughs> what is a Japanese Goblin? And by that point, it just boosts MTB's video by like, the tons, because everyone started watching. And I'm just here thinking like, God damn, did I really do this? I'm not even kidding. Let me see if I can pull one of the comments. I can definitely prove I commented in them. 
I can't say for sure if it was really my doing, but I can say I think I could have been part of it. I'm not the type Maybe. of person who gates keeps stuff, so it's very inter very nice whenever you know some of the Toho content like this, uh, you know, appear on appear on the surface <laughs> and attract more audience. In my opinion, I don't even think Toho is oh. gonna go mainstream, but stream enough that people need to gatekeep it anymore. Yeah, it's this already is, dying. Yeah, this, this is our uh, this is our island. It's our island, and nobody else's island. No, oh, I know what people can join if they find it naturally, but whatever. Yeah, sure. We yeah. welcome everyone. It does feel like the, you know, the Western audience, I mean, in quotation mark, uh, is definitely more livelier than, you know, the, the you know, Korean scene nowadays, in my opinion. I mean, how, like, Western audiences, like, everything that isn't Japanese. Meanwhile, you got the Southeast Asians who are just right under japan but they're also considered the western fan base so, like, i don't know if that's correct in i mean some... yeah the western fan base is just everything except japanese at this point to be honest yeah yeah, yeah. that's pretty... is very, very fitting it's all coming together it's all coming Toho in america i'd like it's to be... i like to bring everyone's attention to this specific comment to prove that I may have caused uh, uh, a popularity increase in, in We Are Japanese Goblin. Oh, no. <laughs> that uh, is, yes, I can see that. That is proof. proof. That, is, that is concrete proof that I may have been involved in this. This may be my fault. And I'd like to say, I am sorry, oh, no. MTB. Gomenasai. Whatever your, your language... Your language is not English. I mean, yeah, your language is not English and neither is Japanese. But I am sorry for... Uh, Giving that uh that that for you, uh yeah, I'm I'm sorry about that. <laughs> y yeah, that's that's the story. Before going, before continuing with the questions, we got ourselves another administrator that hopped on the stream, which also happens to be a lunar creator, so his opinion will not be invalidated twice. His name is Random Person Two Ninety Five. Random Person, make yourself presentable. Yeah, hello everybody. I'm just Random Person Two Ninety Five. I'm here just to chill right now, but yeah, I might talk later. All right. You know, since you're here, you're gonna give your opinion now. This podcast about animation. What do you think about animation? I think animation is really cool. I want to do it myself. That's how enthusiastic I am about it. <laughs> Oh, well, there's certainly something to say about it. What are your, uh, you know, what? Tell me some animators you like. You know, I mean, there's one animator that I really like right here in this um, call right now. MTB, yeah, your animations are really good. I know I want, yeah, heck, Oli fans, you're also pretty good at animation as well. <sighs> okay, I, so many good animators. I was about but, to, I was about to start World War Four. If you didn't say his name. <laughs> Yeah, Literally. I was, I wasn't gonna forget anybody. I wasn't gonna forget anybody. Don't worry. Yeah. yeah. You also Animators forgot Mira Samung. Cool. So World War Four, I guess. The... Yeah, I oh, guess. Oh, I... yeah. Okay, World War Four is starting right now. Oh no 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 no! <laughs> Just no. kidding. Just kidding. Have you ever uh, have you tried doing any 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 animations? No, not really. All right. Your opinion will not be invalidated, but let's keep going with the questions. I got another question from the Discord from Not Happy. What about that mushroom guy? You see, you see, I have, uh, I've invited him as a guest for the podcast. I, I've invited him to join a podcast, and uh, he has yet to show up. Just ping him. Yeah, I uh, I sent him a. Yeah, you know what? That's a good point. I'll I'll give him a ping. He's a uh, he's an animator as well. He is he his content is honestly very good, very good. Oh, uh, looks like this. Uh, pe people are going, yeah, but it's okay. That his content is very good. Yeah. Now, uh, I've seen something uh, rise up a little bit. Uh, it's the fact that. Uh, apparently, according to a single person, that uh, Toyo Hime, well, Miko and the ghost girl 
from the Marin, uh, Marin Temple or whatever are canonically lesbian, but oh, I don't nobody. see any evidence of this. <laughs> For last time, Zun said himself that nobody in the universe is canonically gay. Uh, Dookie. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I totally Dookie. call him saying that. Do you, uh, you, yes, you, you, know that you know that uh, that interview was satire, right? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> to be fair, nothing from Zune could be taken too seriously. I don't. I don't, I don't think Zune. No, 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 no. Really that cares. interview. That interview was a joke. It, it was satire joke. To be fair, uh, oh. Zune is <laughs> drunk. I'm like, sorry to. I'm sorry seven. to break this perspective, but uh, I've seen it with my own eyes. That interview is not real. Man, you sound like you're gaslighting. <laughs> wow. I, bro. <laughs> You want you want we can go on, we can go on a full day discussion about this but I'll just I'll just cut to the point. Uh go search it on uh the list of interviews that he has. The Wikip the tool Wikipedia has all of the interviews listed. I mean to be honest, I don't think Zune really cares about, you know, yeah. expressive sexuality in his, you know, work. It's like it's up to the fans to fucking decide that shit. On yeah, their own the fans, the, the fans do him. that. The fans do that. They yeah, really do no that. Matter no matter what the what the perspective may be, but we let's not forget that there are actually that there are actually a few characters that were me, that were once a man. Oh yeah, that yeah. is true. Some characters were once a man. Uh. Two yeah, B Biakarin. Biakarin had a brother. Hichirin. Yes, she had a brother. Uh, I'm not sure what happened to him. He's dead. <laughs> Sorry. <You> know, <laughs> that's die? why Biakarin has an obsession with keeping herself young. As far as I know. Yep. He uh, saw the death of of her brother. Was like, you know what? I don't think I'm much for dying. And then uh, just proceeded to use her powers to do things. Yeah. Yeah, Trin, you will. Why sponge. the fuck would you want to stay alive as long as possible? Uh, I'm sorry, but, so but like, come chance. on. <laughs> oh boy. Like, let, let let me say this. Even Buddhism says that immortality is the greatest suffering in the universe. Why the fuck would you make yourself Im immortal if you know this is a thing that Buddhism says? Yeah, just... I mean, so far Buddhism is kind of right. Uh, well, this is based off of what evidence we have now, but uh, it looks like the universe is going to a cold death, meaning the universe won't end; it will just keep expanding. Now, is well, if you stay alive forever, that's literally hell for you. It's gonna be a living hell. You're gonna have everyone dying around you and all that. Uh, but that's all I'll say. I won't go on a rant. All right, I'd like to apologize. I accidentally clicked off the 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 podcast. I went to uh, oh, no. another VC. Whoops, lost a bit of things there. But anyways, we move on from that. We move on from that. Next question. Uh, comes from Tamarisk again. Toho manga channels like Cho Subs and Moria Salesman. Uh, you could, yeah, we can also consider Fantasy Trigger and the Kidu. Have you guys seen any of these? Uh, yes, I've seen many of Moria, Moria, Sa <clears throat> Moria Salesman's videos. Uh, haven't watched them in a while though. But I think I don't know. I can't tell if the translations are good or not. But he's doing he's doing a good job. He's doing God's work and translating these uh, animations, which is perfect. Or manga, comics, whatever the fuck you call it. Oh, it's very Hello. nice. Um, good news, everybody. I just got the, I just got the message that uh, Mushy Broom has just woken up. Hopefully, he will be joining us at any time and any second. And so let's keep on going with uh, more questions. What about Koki? 
Cookie. Cookie. Oh, Cookie. Screw Cookie. Oh, boy. I don't know Cookie too well. I know what he does, but I don't know him too well. Are you talking about that, you know, that audio drama and stuff like that? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, don't boy. they, like, am I confusing this right? But didn't they, like, get angry at people for, like, using certain things, you know? Or they got I... they got angry at people for like petty reasons or something. I, I can confirm. Is this you know... stream not capturing the window? Wow, it's not capturing the window. Oh yeah, I forgot because it just rejoined. Whoops. I'm sorry for keeping everyone in the darkness. OBS, just... bro. Check it out. OBS <laughs> moment. Yeah. There OBS we go. Moment. Fixed. I could agree. I I'm just agree. recording all of this. Uh, yeah, we're just streaming though. Yeah, we just have a stream, and you know, you're talking to a black screen. Oh uh, no, it's, it's just <laughs> fixed. It. It has been the issue has been fixed. No need to worry What's about up? it any longer. That's a quick tip for you know anyone who like to the video game streams in their own YouTube channel, Twitch, whatever. Use Windows Windows Capture instead of Display Capture. It's far better. Mm. I'm not a huge fan of it. Not a huge fan of it. You know, a bit more of a... You know, it keeps some privacy in. And if, a, if you're used to it, you can do some cool things. We got ourselves a question from random person 295 Who's streaming this YouTube right now? The answer is me. I am streaming this. I am the the the, the, the camera guy. I am I am the one who streams. Well, that, that was certainly a very um, that was certainly a very monodirectional uh, question. <laughs> anyway, back to Cookie. Uh, I don't really know what really happened with them, but I have heard that the some of the early works, the voice actors and the um, you know the screenwriters who got involved in the you know, earlier work with Cookie got some kind of drama. As far as I know, there was some uh, sexual harassment allegations and stuff like that. Oh, jeez. I'm not sure. Oh, jeez. Welcome but... to Japan. <laughs> <laughs> but after that, I think Cookie, you know, set to this as, uh, you know, the, something that created by the specific creators of voice actors but some kind of journal in a sense as its own yeah i i i've even seen korean cookie voice drama even which was you know mm -hmm. published recently all right uh saya i can see the chat on the podcast chat please refrain from doing that <laughs> this yeah. this this stream is animation we are not talking about voice acting. And yeah. I just got myself a new idea for a podcast. Thank you. That's voice a acting. great Yes, voice acting, because that surely is a thing. M MTB will never let me voice act in this. <laughs> the squeak has demanded. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna no, I'm not gonna squeak. N no squeaking. Go go take your favorite no red squeaking. and Go take your first, like favorite rat and proceed to Van Halen's jump into the nearest oil deep fryer. He, he's Thank gonna you. bring uh he's gonna bring Nico Sugar Girls okay. into this. Okay. <laughs> Nico Naya and Sugar Girls. I think I'm expecting. I guess. I'm not expecting. Well, here, let me break it down. What was supposed to happen? I invited Mushy Mushbroom to the podcast, and then he told me my English is not good. So I didn't just give up there because, you know, I hardly give up. Giving up is practically saying I cannot do it. I can do it. I have done it in the past, and I will do it again. So I opened um, a, uh, I, I've opened a, a job application channel with the simple goal of getting... A Spanish translator. Uh, 
I did get one. I, I managed to get one. He's, he's here in the audience with us. I'm not going to say right now exactly who is he. But, uh... Mush is not here. So I'm just thinking this is a... Uh, this is not good. It's not looking good. I seriously hope uh, Mushy can appear uh, as soon as possible. We got our... Oh! Alright, sure. Let's let's go ahead and... Uh, it's a good thing. We got ourselves another Lunar Creator here. His name is Blank Guy. Blank Guy, you've been given the permission to rise up. So, uh, you know, do, do the Hamlet's on him. Rise up. Oh, fuck. Is there a way to put this on speaker? Hold on. You're already uh, speaking with us. Hello, Blank no, Guy. No, there is no speaker. Oh, there it is. Okay, okay. Hello. I'll Hello. Introduce yourself to uh to the to the live stream because um per perhaps there are some people who don't know you. All right. Uh, hello everybody. What is up, guys? Uh, I'm Blank Guy. I'm one of the Tohu YouTubers. Um, you may have known me for the for some certain things, but obviously those are in the past. I grew out of it. No more. No more. Uh. I don't know. If you know, you know. But I'm one of the Toad creators. I mean, Toad content creators. You should. You guys should take. You should. You should, You guys should check me out. Basically, and I sound like shit because I just woke up. No. Oh. No oh, dang. Late yeah, night. we all we all woke up. It's relatable. Uh. Anyways, no. this this live stream is about animations. So, uh, would you mind us telling, uh, have you gotten any experience in animations? I haven't really been experiencing, uh, animation at all, but recently, um, I have started working on this little piece of animation. Um, it's really not that good, but, uh, I started working on a short animation for my series called Toho Shenanigans. And if you guys haven't checked that out, go ahead and check that out. Type in Toho Shenanigans. I'm pretty sure you guys would love it. Uh, as we got other voice actors and other YouTubers to partake in, in the series. So yeah, um, no experiencing animation. But some of the episodes will include animation of my own. So hopefully I can improve later on. Very nice. Do you have any uh do you have any animators that you uh like? I do like uh Dina's work. I think she's pretty cool with her animations. Um let's see. I know there was one animator. I can't really find out, but she uh he or she made this um I think they were doing this remake of Tohu No, no. I'm not really sure, but they did an animation on, like, uh, the Reimu sitting down and try to use Zune's uh, art style, kind of. I forgot the YouTuber's name, but um, I'm going to have mean, to look uh, it up a little bit. You know, Toho Red Mist, you know, that episode featuring the USD cast? I, I think it is. Um, I'm going to have to look it up again. But um, it was that one that I like, and... Um, Let's see. I wanted to ask a uh, question, Blank Guy. So, uh, recently there was a channel that still hasn't been terminated that you said yourself that you had brought to light, which I appreciate that because we need to get this guy off the off the grid. So this guy, he's he's on YouTube, and this is a this is a, I'm sure this is going to be a surprise for a lot of you here. There's a guy on YouTube who Blank Guy exposed by posting his suggestive stuff on YouTube. Not so, really exposed. Um, he just yes, brought to light. Was, this there was this one guy who's posting NSFW, Lolicon, Futanari, Lolicon, all this shit in his community tab. So the reason why he's getting by all this is because the community tab automatically cropped your photo. So like he can post whatever NSFW Lolicon as he likes, and it would it would just stay there because it's automatically cropped until you click the uh, picture. So yeah, there's this guy just. Steam I think I know you're talking about NSFW. Yeah. That was Felix. Yeah, that Brazilian. Yeah, guy. oh yeah, and he's he's subscribed to my damn channel. 
Yeah, yeah same, same here. He, he's been commenting on my videos. Yeah, exactly. same here, dude. A stalker. I didn't want I to know, talk like... about Susan, but it's ironic that he, she has a lot of restrictions on the videos, and yet she's not taking care of the community posts at all. All right. All right. We interrupt, so, we interrupt this uh, broadcast yeah. to evade the right. important announcement. Model Texture Bones speaks. He has just pointed us towards a sentient bowl of instant noodles. Who made the very nice animation of the Hifu Club chase scene. I've seen that video before. Has anyone seen that video? Uh, I don't think so. It's on the podcast chat. Uh, people in general... Uh, we have moved towards the podcast uh, podcast chat. Please uh, put yourself in there, you know. We're talking there now in relation to our podcast. That video was exceptionally nice. It didn't have any voices, but goddamn, it was good. Has anyone else seen this? Oh, shit. Yes. It was that one. Yep. I can agree with uh, MMD. Oops. Japanese MMD animators are the next level. I am pretty Rush sure... Mars too. I'm Pretty sure pe I'm pretty sure the east, uh, the east, east side animators are on the next level. That that much I can say for sure. Okay, now look, I yeah. have a heavy take here. Billy um, Bill, all right, this Calm fucking down. Chinese website is literally the best steamroller of Toho, <clears throat> Toho posts. Like it has the best people over there making Toho animations. Like, when I post videos over on Discord, like, I almost always grab them from Billy Billy because that's, like, they literally have the best animations by far. Like, go on Billy Billy, search up uh, Toho specifically in Chinese or Japanese, and you're going to find some of the best fucking animations you'll ever watch. Like, some of those animations you'll never see on YouTube, except for MTB and all that stuff. Like, a lot of the good stuff, a lot of the, uh, the good content creators are on Billy Billy, and not YouTube. Billy Billy. I'd like to, uh, I'd like to uh, stop this again. I'm going to uh, bring up to light here. It finally occurred. He's here. Uh, the last special guest from this, from this podcast, another animator. His name is Mushy Broom. He has a recent profile picture, which is very nice. Mushy Broom, please rise up. So, hey, good morning. Good morning. I've also brought up uh, Sanai here. Uh, Sanai is not a lunar creator. Uh, Sanai is the translator. <laughs> so, yes, I have, I have, yes, I have said this before. I've gotten a translator from Mushy Broom because he said his English is not good, so I took it into consideration. So let's go. Mushy Broom, how are you doing in this fine day? I'm doing fine. I just woke up. Alright, you are a Tohan animator. Tell us more about yourself. Mm, I, I don't know. I just, like you said, the editor to make videos. And I like Toho too. All right. If you have anything, if you have any uh, in-depth uh, details you'd like to share, just ask. Just uh, ask for your translator to translate it for us. Uh, anyways, you make Toho uh, pixel art animations. I mean, not really. They're not really uh, animations per se. I mean, there are animations, but it's more like uh, something along the lines of. Yeah, I don't it's know more how to say. like. It's more like a, a, editing. Most most assets are not created by me. Yeah. So let's go for the questions. Uh, when did you start your uh, animation adventure? Do you have a Do you have a Do you have a backstory to share? I I think it was for four months ago. Uh, I created a, a video with the the meme me, Metal Gear Racing. That video. And I, I like it how I make it, and decided to, to keep, keep, keep it up. All right. Something like that. Oh, that's certainly a story. Um, the, yeah, this kind, is a, kind of. Yeah, this is a question that has been uh, answered. This has, has actually not been answered by people, uh, at least all of them. 
what is your uh what is your what is the what is the one video you're most proud of i i think the, the most recent one most I, recent I just one. read it say yes six hours ago and uh, it took me i don't know two, two weeks literally literally i i think i, I work on it three out three hours a day Wow. Yeah. <laughs> well, that is to be expected. Your animation is quite nice. Uh, come on, guys. Don't be shy. Say, say something to uh to Mushy Broom. This is a podcast. All right. Well, uh, <clears throat> never actually heard of uh, Mushy Broom, uh, to be honest. Uh, I'd like to see what content you have. Um, get to know you a little bit. Uh, send me a link to your channel. I'll check it out. Uh, it's on the it's on the podcast. It's actually not on the podcast because he has yet to participate. But now that he's here, I can actually go ahead and uh, get him here. One of I've I know one of his videos uh, is is it's amazing. One of his videos I know it's <laughs> it's a video where Aya uh, feeds a crow an apple. like birds would do the natural behavior between crow to crow that is the video oh yeah oh yeah yep that video was good that video was good <laughs> i can tell you that video was good thank you for making that masterpiece <laughs> love your video with uh chuno and yuka <laughs> you know remind me of that scene from memories of phantasm where you cut us up here sorry, right before the tuna and tuna uh, has has that very scared face on on that on that image on that prior animation. Hey, thank you. All right. It's very nice to very nice to know. Uh well, does anyone have a well, how, what can we talk about here? I'm I'm kind of lost because Mr. Brown just arrived. I'm I'm legitimately uh, lost. Uh, just to follow with the question, I think each of us can talk about our own favorite video that I that we posted. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. True. True. I almost forgot the the, the question about that. So let's uh, let's take it from the top. Uh, once again, Mushy, if you if you uh if you need Sana is right there to translate you. You don't need to uh, force your English. So let's let's do this again. Now that I know that uh, MTB speaks, um, MTB, what is what is the what is the video that you made which you're the most proud of? What is the video you're very proud of? And there it is. He he released uh, Toho Ninja Gaiden. I've Ninja seen it. Gaiden? You think that's hard? <laughs> no, he said. Uh, he said that's the video he's most proud of. And uh, I have to be honest, that is a very nice video. It's well animated. Oh, very nice. So, uh, any, any, uh, any, uh, any reasoning to why that would be? Like, uh, you put a lot of effort. It was inspired. Any reason for that? All right. I'm so, sorry, what? I've I've asked him. Uh, you know, well, if he, if he wants to say, he, he will type it. All right, Kiliope, you're next. What is uh, what is the video you've made in which you're most proud of? Um, <clears throat> huh, I got to think about that or look at my channel. Uh, <laughs> I think. My first major animation that I was proud of might have been the uh, one including Yunko. So I, w I was going, uh, well, when I started animating, I had a uh, an idea that, hey, how about I just make these cinematic things, right? So I started started with Yunko, the newest model that MTV used to. 
So I was like, oh, damn, I got yeah, I got to check it out. I got to check it out. So that's what I did. Uh, used it, made an animation, grabbed a Leopard 2A4 because why the hell not? And uh, made a, a new Lunar War. And it's it's really just a small cinematic. It's not much, but it somehow got 400 views. It might have more now, but I that's a very I think that's a good video to be proud of. Uh, I can definitely make better. Um, maybe my one with the Black Ops Two theme. I think of uh, people like that a lot better. But uh, I think uh, my opinion will change as uh, I make more. Well, of course, everybody's opinions change on uh, when they make new videos. Of course, when you make a magnum opus, your opinion immediately changes. It's just how it works. Now we just need the judge for MMD. <laughs> yeah, we got the we got the judge here already. Oh, oh, I, I thought uh, I was talking about the gun. Uh, wait, who's the judge? Saya, right? Oh, oh, okay. You're talking about the oh, you're talking about the gun. Okay, never mind. I thought you were talking about the person. Anyway, it's next oh. one. Mush broom. What is the video you made? Did I? I told. I've asked you that. I have asked you that, right? I did ask you that. Am I forgetting? Did I just ask him that? For what? Did I ask you what was your video you're most proud of? Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. you did. Is it the most recent one? Well, I'm forgetful. Uh I'm sorry. All right, I guess we'll uh, go to Elephant T. What is the video you've made you're most proud of? Well, it's not an animation per se, but uh, there's one video that video that involved collaboration with other creators, the uh, Bad Apple PV edit, but with in-game action shot. Uh, uh, you know, uh, I added, added a couple of uh, footages of me play, playing, uh, footage of me and the other creators playing Toho and Overlay the silhouettes from Bad Apple PV from a pretty simple work, uh, except recording the footage, of course. Uh, and, but uh, I'm proud of it because uh, you know it can be easily dismissed that Toho is a video game series, and I somehow wanted to demonstrate from one of the most uh, popular cre creative works in Toho um, uh, about, about Toho series itself. Uh, how it uh, how it is as a as a video video game and what and why should fans care about it? So I merged the scene of you know character theory with in game spare cards uh, overlay with the bad apple PB and uh, I think the outcome was pretty good. Yep, that's definitely some effort you you put in. It's a nice video, very nice. All right, next up. Heck only fans, what's the video you're most proud of? Can I say the uh, the Tenshi glue bottle one? The Tenshi blue bottle one? I think it's yeah, it's about the uh, the Tenshi and Sion video. Oh Tenshi and Sion, okay, that video. Yeah, I just kind of like it. <laughs> yeah, I can see I why. I can definitely see why would that be. <laughs> Woo! Okay, blank guys, right. your turn now. Uh, you don't is... know what the funny part is? The funny part is... Oh. Oh. Yeah? What's the funny part? Hold on. Uh, okay, uh, I have seen my videos, alright, in Billy Billy, I guess. Yeah, there's... There's my there's a whole my videos I don't know why it's been reposted in Bilibili, and one of those my my very good video is that Tenshi and Sion videos. They uh just censor the whole thing, the very end of this video just censor it the whole thing. I don't know why. <laughs> All right, it's very nice. Okay. All right. <laughs> Looking for Vietnam War themes. I don't know. I did. Mm, oh, look at yeah, that. The, the it's a Gmod animator with a liking for Vietnam War theme. Who? I wonder who could that be? I don't know. This is Toho's in the 60s. <laughs> like, really kind of niche fucking fan fiction or whatever that got me thrown out of an entire uh, 
group of collaborators who turned out not to be collaborators. So, <laughs> uh, well, he got the e boy feeling. <laughs> e boy feeling. I fucking love that. <laughs> 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 oh, you guys are missing context. We made a whole, we made a plethora of jokes about that last night. It was so, funny. I'm just, you know, I'm listening to you guys, and I'm just hearing screams while I'm shooting the hell out of terrorists and insurgency. It's just, it's a great. Oh, I mix. love which insurgency, uh, sandstorm, or insurgency just the normal? sandstorm. Oh, uh, I love the old insurgency because um, I used to do this thing where I had like Miku fans. As the terrorists, and like I gave them filthy <laughs> Frank. Uh, they all have filthy Frank screams. When you shoot them, it's like <laughs> <laughs> some people have just too much free time in their hands. I guess too much free the time. Old, I didn't think insurgency team. would be this like intense. So when I when I first got it for PlayStation, it, it, I I expected it to be forty. Um, but it actually, uh, it was actually lower down by like almost half. So. It was at 40, and now it was at, like, 25. And then I got it for my birthday, <clears throat> which was last two weeks ago, last week. I don't know. September 17th was my birthday. I turned 16. Wait, where is the stream for this podcast? The stream is on YouTube. On YouTube. Uh, oh, excuse me. Yeah, the Lunar Creator Union? Uh, link. Yeah, really? just, just search for Lunar Creator Union on YouTube. Really, RP? You like that one? That one's kind of a... I, I, yeah, I like it. One. Cause my humor's uh, shit. <laughs> well, I mean, you like getting fucked, you know, your ERP tag and all that. Oh, okay, hold on, <laughs> bro. Yeah, no, okay, stop. Yeah. Oh, oh, anyway, anyways, anyways, <laughs> anyways, anyways, <laughs> anyways, uh, blank guy. What is the video you've made you're most proud of? Because I know you've made a lot of videos in the past. That's quite a. That's quite a tricky question because I know I you've actually made a lot kinda of have a bunch. So like um one of my favorite videos that I have ever made was this video. Uh Toe Shenanigans episode three, uh Fuma Flakes. Uh I got oh, permission yeah. to like uh use some clips of uh Dookie's uh video. And like his video alone just got me the idea for this. And uh yeah, I'm pretty proud of that. Pretty cool. Oh, I can't agree. That video was very nice. No, I thought it was really good too. Yeah, I, I just he... love i I love Chen in that video. La Lady Rod, I don't. I want my Fubo flick. <laughs> <laughs> no, you've been misbehaving recently, young lady. Oh my god. Okay, that that's uh, okay. For those white, that don't know, white people. I for those that don't, for those that don't know, I was part of that video. <laughs> Oh um, yeah, me and um, I made a uh, with Asperger. He oh made, god! Uh, Kanako <laughs> spat fucking tits. Oh no! <laughs> so that... basically, I I grabbed I grabbed the photo from uh, Memories of Phantasm, and then in MMD, I uh, I like basically copied it like a literal uh, face to face copy, except it was MMD, and then. Kanako's fat fucking ticks from Asperger, which was great. <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh no! I, I wish I wish Sunny Milk was here. Um, or Malk McSunny. Is he? He is uh, here. Oh, he is here. Yeah, he, Damn, he, let me check. he's because he's, he's the real creator of Fumo Flakes. Like he deserves all the credit for just that joke. Um. Oh, you know and what? Now he's I, sure. Uh. Let me just go ahead and uh, do this for you, Vin. Why can't I click? Let me click Discord. Let me click. Let me click the book. I'm a boomer. Discord. <laughs> what is happening? I cannot. Why? Why? Why is this happening? Are there any other questions for me, or or is that it? That would be it. My mouse is not collaborating. Who's your favorite character in? Uh... To host shenanigans. There it is. Who do you like doing the most? Wait, there it is. Ringo. I, I fucking Ringo. love doing Ringo. Oh god. <laughs> no homo. I, not not in that way, but like I mean, like I like voicing her. That's that's my favorite. All right, so, all right, Sunny. All right, just brought up Sunny Dookie. Go ahead and start thanking him. Uh yeah. 
Um, that is kind of on my own th- grounds here, but like, uh, so Malcolm McSunny is the inventor of Fumo Flakes. If most of you need to be aware, uh, <laughs> he's I, pretty. I'm gonna say this: I may have been the creator, but it, if it wasn't for you, none of none of that would have been ever made. So yeah. I want to say thank you so much for making my idea a thing. Yeah, man. Anytime. All right, thank you for um, these words, yeah, man. Uh, yeah. Sunny. Thank you for those nice words. Anyway, the that newest was a very thing, awesome moment. The, a little sneak peek into the newest thing, though. Um, he just came out with Fumo tarts. So, <laughs> oh, oh, the ride never I'm ends. Have to come up with something. <laughs> the ride, like, like pop, you guys know what pop tarts are, right? Oh, the ride Extra never ends. sugary jam. Yeah, I tried it uh, back back in the days when I went to US for the exchange. Uh, yeah, that's such that's some uh, you know, that's some pastries with sugars in it, a lot of sugars. All right, let's uh, wrap the this question here with random person. What is the video you made to which you're most proud of? My videos. I mean, yeah, your videos could know. be anyone. Doesn't need to be animation uh, related. Give me a moment. I'm going to unmute myself. That's why I really like a lot. Because I put a lot of effort into it. That's why. Sure, no day. Oh, turn day 2022. Yeah. I watched that video. That was very very well efforted. Keep it going, man. Thank you. What? <laughs> yeah, random person. When you said you have shit humor, I was just, I was just thinking to myself. Yeah, you tell that yourself because I'm pretty sure there's people with a worse humor than that. <laughs> Case in yeah. point, you just saw it with your own eyes. Sorry, heard it with your own ears. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's get a one. Last question from, and this is a my question for everyone here. This is not a viewer question. This is nobody's question. This is my question. This is my show after all. Lamal XD, deal with it. So from the top, Captain Duke, all the way to random person. If you have any plans for future animation projects, would you like to share them with us? And what would they be? If not animation wise, um, just any projects you may uh, have in the future. Uh, well, right now I'm working on Blank Guy's uh, thing because he asked me to animate Toho Shenanigans 7. Uh, and I have to do that in Gary's Mod, and I'm getting that prepared. Uh, I just spent, before I left for this big trip, I spent a good chunk of time just getting all the props in place because when you do things in Gary's Mod, you're essentially building the set. It, and it, you have to do it by hand, and it's just, you know. I love Gary's mod in the sense because it's like you can combine the aspects of like the stuff that you learned in theater, uh, the stuff that you learn in lighting and just like how, you know, the characters move and stuff like that. One of the things I really like about Gary's mod, I'm sorry if I'm going on a tangent, um, is you can change materials and you can remove certain articles uh, of clothing or things of the nature to like customize a character in a certain way or just make them completely naked or something like that. Um, and you can, uh, I, I don't know if you can do that in uh, MMD incomparably, but like using the MMD models in Gary's Mod like offers an entire level of like sophistication. And I've, I've not really explored it fully, but I'm sure it could be like really exploited to do a in astounding things in the future. All right, you could have also mentioned about the fumo fumo tarts. That's oh yeah, you just uh, said. Yep. Well, I did mention that. That might be coming up. All right, MTB. Do you have any uh, projects you're working on? Do you like to share some details with us? Wise words from MTB. Wise words from MTB. I surely cannot wait to watch the video. 
Anyways, Kiliop, any future projects you might be working on? Uh, yeah, kind of, <clears throat> kind of, yeah. Would you like to share with us some details? Uh, it's, it's kind of, it's going to be like, uh, like, uh, it's kind of like my other, my other videos kind of a little so cinematic in a way. Um, it's not going to be like, like a edgy music type thing, like my other videos, it's gonna be, uh, I think, maybe a little more wholesome. I'm not sure. Uh, I haven't really started steamrolling it yet. I probably will soon. I hope I do. All right, very nice, Mushy Broom. Any future, any projects you're working for the future? I want, I want to speak in Spanish. Is possible? Uh, yes, uh, Sanai, are you here? Sanai, yeah? Yes, I am here. Yes, hello, Sanai. Uh, just, uh, just, <laughs> just translate, uh, what, just translate what Mushy says. Is that okay? Okay. All right, Mushy, go ahead. Bueno, te tengo un proyecto para futuro. Así, un poco, un poco grande, la verdad. He has plan for the future. Um, Bigger plans. Okay. Well, do you have any details about it, like any future video, something like that? Sí, de, de, de hecho, hice un pequeño avance o teaser unos hace dos meses en mi canal. Yeah, I got a um, preview from that project. I have done like two months ago. Ah. Yes, yo que en and you go to me and talk over six at USD. Oh. Yes. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure translation is not really needed. We heard USD. That is enough. Uh, all all right. But basically, 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 si Remo Maris and Marisa no no estuvieron presentes en ese en ese tiempo. Basically, Remo and Marisa, they were, they're not in there, in that moment. Ooh. What por lo, por lo que, por, por, lo, por lo que el, inci, el, el incidente de Remilia, el, de Scarlet, Scarlet Miss. Hmm. So the <laughs> incident was Remilia do. Okay, I see. So basically, it's basically an animated what if. To the question if uh, Raymo and uh, Marissa were not there. All right. Exactly. There you go. That was very nice. I cannot wait to see that video then. Elephant T, do you have any future projects going? Well, I did get a permission from Mirez Omang to uh, remake one of one of his video in uh, 3D. Well, I'm going to use MND and Blender, but uh, right at the moment, uh, I'm just fatigued with or you being creator on YouTube and stuff like that and just I just need some I just need some break and, of course take a yeah. take a break we're not here to yeah. take a break of course yeah it might be this might sound a bit disappointing to some of my subscribers but I'm going to slowly turn my channel into what was intended back in 2019 uh, something that is more gameplay oriented and not something that is focused on Toho only, but discovering a lot, of, lot of more video game than video games than just Toho. But I see what happens. Uh, depends depends on my performance. I will stick with that plan or just stick with the Toho. Um, I I see how it goes. All right. That is, these are of course nice plans. Uh, you're not forced to do Toho, of course. Oh, I could also say something else about. It, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stress it to you. Uh, Conley fans, do you have any uh you have any projects for the future? Uh, uh, so I think I think it's gonna be another uh Halloween video since you know next week October. It's 
gonna prepare now and post that later in October. Oh, Halloween video. Very nice. Very nice. I cannot wait to see that video as well. And speaking of Halloween, it'll remind me that Sir Polo will also make a Halloween video, as per tradition. Of course, he's not really here now. Uh, please don't bring him here so early. I will have a heart attack. Thank you for comprehending. Blank guy, you're up. Any projects you, uh, any projects for the future? Actually, yeah. Um, as I've mentioned before, it's, um, Tohu Shenanigans episode 6.9. It's the first, uh, animation I will do by drawing, kind of. It's not really that good. It's kind of choppy, but still, I plan on doing that. But, uh, other than that, I want to, like, collab with other, uh, creators, like, maybe animators and such. And hopefully that can go well with like any anime. So yeah, that's part. Of, that's probably more projects I might be. Doing. Hopefully anytime soon. All right, certainly cannot wait to see those videos as well. And last but not least, random person, do you have any? Uh, do you have any videos? Any projects you want to? Uh, you want to do for the future? Projects? I mean, I want to learn how to use MMD to animate in the future. Probably by the end of this year or something. Because I have... I was going to do it for a school project, yeah. Ooh, school pro... MMD for school project. Yeah. I can see this going very well. And I have a yes, way... very I well. I cannot wait. <laughs> yeah, I cannot wait to see that as well. Once it comes out, MMD does require some finesse. Finesse. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, well, we are clocking in at about one hour and 50 minutes of the light of the podcast, the official LCU podcast. So I'm pretty sure this is a nice ending point for it. Wouldn't, uh, wouldn't you guys agree? Uh, one hour and 50 minutes. Mm, yeah, I guess. Yep. So, oh, no, before... Not Jack Black as you, you come. <laughs> all right so we're gonna take it from top for the last time unless does anyone have anything else to bring up about animations and stuff because i feel like this is a nice point to uh bring it up all right i'll take that as a dope so all right from the top content creators uh please say your your, your goodbyes Captain Dookie, you begin. Uh, uh, see you sometime when I get back to you. All right, MTB, do you have any? Do you have any parting words? And then there's Chunky. He's dead. <laughs> Dude, this is like by far. This is by far like the most awkward podcast. I mean, yeah, it's the first podcast, but goddamn, it is awkward. I didn't I mean, think we gotta it admit it. This, it's it's very awkward here. Yeah, it is. It is very awkward. Um, I know. Uh, I th I think it's all right. All right, Kiliope. Uh, yes. Yeah, say your parting words. You know uh, what? You know what? You know what? Screw the order. I'm gonna make this not awkward at all. Everyone, just say your parting words at once. Go. I hope you guys Deuces. have a beautiful fucking day. This includes mushy okay, elephant everyone. and heck. Go on. Go. 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 Good, goodbye. Yeah. It's Adios. Just... Yep. Good hunting, everyone. Yeah. Let's. Deuces. let's... Yeah, let's make, let's let's switch the uh, awkward for just outright unreadable. How about that? Does that solve the problem? Hell yeah, that solves the problem. Deuces. So, without further ado, this concludes the first ever Lunar Creator Union podcast. Thank you, everyone that has stuck with us so far. Looks like we got a we got a sudden boost in concurrent viewers out of nowhere. But thank you for partaking on this live stream. Every one of you, including Lunar Creators, special guest translator, and uh, don't forget the... to add my name in the title. Oh no! I've, as I was about to, I was about to bring that up. Uh, all the content creators that have participated in this live stream will have their channels in the description. Uh, feel more than free to check them out. They are great people. 
also the Discord link. You know, it's right there. I'm not, I'm not implying that you should join it, but I'm saying that the option is right there. You know, just, uh, just saying. And without making this more awkward, I thank every single one of you for partaking in the official LTU podcast number one. Thank everyone for, uh, for the presence, their questions, their answers, and things like that. The uh, activity for today. I'm sorry for the time. For those that just woke up, we'll get uh, other times in other podcasts. Depends on uh, how you guys are planning to go as far as that. And without further ado, this concludes the first ever LCU podcast. Official, by the way. Thank you guys for being with here. And uh, that's it.